week's sneak peek of the week. What is she getting up to in this vlog? Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Welcome to this week's vlog, or I guess weekend's vlog. I don't know. What time is it? It's just about 10. I haven't eaten yet. I really need to go do some eating. Let me do a quick OOTD and then I'll run out the door. All right, y'all. Here we are for the OOTD for today. I have my beautiful Kofia. I have this like denim dress that I thrifted in Puyallup last year sometime, the year before, I don't remember. Right before this style of denim dress started to be a trend, I thrifted this at the Value Village and then like a week later they were on the shelves and I was like, teehee, but it has this fun little, I don't know what detailing it does at the top, but that's fun. I'm wearing just some normal rings. I need to find a way, maybe I can like tuck this into the back. I want this to be more of a shawl. I don't wanna have to like, not babysit it, but like watch it all day, have it fall off my shoulders, but I wanna wear it more. I need to be more, I need to be more intentional with my kofia wearing. Actually wear it more. Um, but then we have, we have my purse that I added some fun accoutrement to. I saw someone like decorate the ever loving heck out of their purse and I do not have as many decorations as they do, but adding this chain is a fun start for me. I also have to like redo this. I'll probably redo this with some ribbon that I've bought instead of like, you know, like gift party ribbon instead of like ribbon made out of fabric, you know, like this is like plasticky and I think that's why it's misbehaving, but here's the purse. I have my shoes from Ross, my little platform. Make a bag because I don't want to do makeup before I leave. Library books and etc. I think I'm gonna get a bagel and eat it in the park, but I, I just, I have a lot of stuff to do today, but also not a lot of stuff to do today. And I'm going to a powwow later with Lauren. So I need to be home. I don't know, and I don't know what time anything is happening. But I told myself that I do not need to be stressed out today. There's legally no reason for me to be. So I'm gonna go get a coffee because I ran out of mocha syrup yesterday. So I need to either make more or go get a coffee. So it's payday, I get a treat. Being alive is hard. This week has been a really freaking hard week. So I deserve a treat today, but I also do not need to go overboard because I'm still financially recovering from Vegas. And I need to move soon. Everything's fine. I'm happy to be alive. Let's get it poppin' team. All right, little change in plans of order of things. I, uh, I'm going to the library first and then I'll go get my bagel and then I'll go eat it. I'm running on fumes, nothing makes sense. I don't have caffeine, but this made more sense to my deprived brain, whatever. I have my two books I'm returning to the library today. I read Mooncakes and then I read the author's other graphic novel, in The Infinity Particle. I'm not sure if this is the only two graphic novels or stories that, um, Oh, Wendy Zhu, X-U, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is all of the collaborators on Mooncakes, and then Wendy Zhu, Zhu, I'm sorry, um, but they were both good. This one has, the main character has hearing aids, it has queer representation, it has a little bit of magic, it has a little bit of evil, um, love, it also has werewolves. And then this one is about a, like a planet in the solar system. Like, I don't think it's Mars. It might be Mars. Hold on. Yes, it is Mars. So a scientist moves to Mars to start over and gets like an apprenticeship with her like dream scientist. And then things happen from there. You can probably, well, actually you might not be able to guess, but both of these were incredible. I read them both in the same day because I just, I, I read them so quickly. I slurp up graphic novels. I'm not going to say slurp up. I read them so fast. It's not even funny, but I am excited to grab some new, some new books for the next week. I was absolutely obsessed with the Don't Let the Pigeon Blank books growing up, so I did have to look at this one, pick it up off the shelf. I didn't end up checking it out. This book is one I bought for my roommate for their birthday a couple years ago, and I read it. It was so darn good. Oh yeah, I needed a shake. I was worried this was not going to be good. It is good, but I will hold off eating my bagel until I get to the park because I don't want to eat and drive. Oh, maybe I'll pick up, maybe I'll read one of the little bookies I picked up. We'll see. But it's like 11 something now, so I have been dilly-dallying. I need to go to Target and pick up a few things. And it made sense 
for the way I was driving today for me to go to Target first. That would be my. Also, I think I saw one of the students I used to TA for in comm. So if you saw me at the bakery, hi, hun. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> this is royalty free music for your enjoyment. Royalty free music. I literally, I put on makeup just to start crying it off. I got some um, brown mascara from ColourPop today. I wanted to try it out because the girdies are trying out the brown mascara. Um, and I literally was just, I, stick season makes me cry every time, every fucking time that goddamn song comes on. I love it. I love it so much. For a while, it was on the top of my, like, Spotify repeat playlist. Um, but it is finally bagel time. I found a good spot in a little, like, not secluded, but secluded park to eat my little bagel, have a little reading journal time, do some decompressing, maybe cry some more, I don't know piss me off to reapply when I get to the car. Ow. Okay, speaking voiceover, Rebecca is back. This bagel is living rent-free in my heart, my mind, and my soul. It is so good, and I probably could just learn how to make the cream cheese like they make it, and it would be better, but, like, this is me communing in nature, dancing with my bagel. Like, I was just such a happy camper. This was much needed. Okay, y'all, I am finally at the Value Village. I want to do an exchange today, and I did the receipt math, and I have about, like, $20 in returns. So I don't know. I really want to do the challenge on short form where you like thrift a $20 outfit or whatever, like a whole outfit from the thrift store. But I don't know if I should wait till 75 hard is done, but I do have the $20 credit today. I just kind of wanted to look at accessories. I wasn't planning on like really digging deep for things, but if I have so much to exchange, but I could also wait till next Friday. So like I'm sitting in the car thinking to myself, now I'm talking out loud to y'all to help process verbal processor. Also, don't look at my hair. I don't want to talk about how dirty it is. But I want to re-bleach in color. Like, I want there to be more pink again. I want it to be a heftier chunk. Sorry, I'm not really looking at the camera right now. <laughs> more looking at me. <laughs> uh, oh, and the nails. I am obsessed with the set from last week. It's also like so randomly freaking muggy hot gross right now so i'm glad i'm in this little dress kufia is sweating but i know that i will be cold in the store probably someone's pulling up right next to me no they're leaving thank goodness i have a little bit of water hydration station i have like still water as well in my hydro i don't think i have the energy to find a full outfit I don't know! Ah! Because then I would have to sh to film both this way and this way. And I don't want to... But I could. I do need to post more short form. Let me know in the comments below what kind of short form do you want to see. I do usually just like the little outfit style challenge videos. But like, what do y'all want to see from, from the people? I, me, the people. Now there is really someone parking next to me. So I am gonna... I don't know, but I'm gonna go in. I'm honestly really glad that I did not do that challenge because I did not have the patience or energy. There was uh, this mirror. I love it. I'm painting it gold. I'm very excited. Um, but the haul was pretty good. I just didn't get any of it on record. And honestly, that's when the haul is the best. Y'all, I didn't think I was going to be able to spend the $20 to do the exchange. I spent 30 of my own money. Y'all just saw because I showed the... Mm, whatever. Also, my beautiful kofia keeps trying to fall off. So I have to keep tying it somewhere weird. That's okay. It's not weird. It's perfect. I need to go to Fred Meyer now. Everything is okay. Spoiler alert, I really didn't get any content inside of the Fred Meyer aside from me picking out my like reduced section of flowers for the week. These ones, incredible. It was only like 15 bucks and then I went home and had some lunch. I don't think that I've been on campus since graduation last year. <laughs> so that's kind of unbelievable. It's weird. I'm not looking forward to the walk. Very good time. I am getting a headache because of my mask and the gorgeous drum circle. We were sitting right by it. Um, I didn't take any video in there. Hold on. Loud. I didn't want to take video while I was in there because that's disrespectful to, you know, people I have not gotten the consent to have video. There's also children. You know, I'm not gonna take, I'm not, <laughs> but very good time. 
wish my body let me stay longer. Uh, but it was really good to see Lauren. Happy girl. This is when I started my walk back to the other end of campus where the parking is, and then I picked up some Thai food for dinner, y'all already know, and then I knew I needed eggs. I just realized I went to the grocery store twice today and didn't buy ice cream either time, and I have been craving ice cream since I ran out. Everything's fine. I'm gonna have my favorite flavor of liquid IV, which is golden cherry. Sorry, it did not focus. And then I'm gonna eat, hopefully not all the Thai food that I got. I am very hungry and just relax. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. I am tired. I could not sleep in today. I don't know why. It was frustrating. Sebastian was very loud this morning. That's okay. I have made a bountiful breakfast. I wanted... This is a breakfast I had recently. Well, I added strawberries because I got strawberries yesterday. And I think I got some that were too ripe. So I need to do some eating or some freezing, which is fine. I love some straw. And... Just need to get my day going. I have, I had to make mocha syrup this morning because I ran out, I guess, double yesterday. And so yesterday I got that. I just, I don't, I think it's the oat milk. I think it's something about oat milk that's not the Costco oat milk. Or I don't know what brand. There's just one that just doesn't taste good to me. And that's okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine. But here's my little breakfast. I have my hash brown patty sausage patty, scrambled egg, and then Kodiak cakes. Two of them have chocolate chips. I forgot about one of them. And then some straw, and then I put some Chipotle Tabasco, ketchup, everything but the bagel, Chipotle, or no, Winco's Cajun seasoning, and then just some syrup for the pancakes. I made a coconut mocha this morning. I have some water, I have my vitamins. It's gonna be a good day. I... I want to re-bleach my hair, but that sounds like a lot of work. So I might just re-dye it and then I'll re-bleach it in June. That sounds good. I think I'll re-dye it. Should I go put hair dye in now for half an hour? I'm going to go put the hair dye in now and then I'll eat and then I'll shower. That'll get me going. <sighs> JK, I want to eat while my food is hot. I have plenty to do when hair is pinking. Honestly, I'm obsessed with a slow Saturday morning where I just get to eat a big breakfast and plan the day or not really do anything, watch some YouTube. I guess on this day, the main event was putting the hair dye in the hair in the morning. Sorry I have not been super communicative today, team. I have just been taking some time for myself. I thought I was going to surprise a friend, but she was not where I thought she would be when she was. So I just ended up hanging out with myself. I read one of the books that I picked up at the library. I met the Fred Meyer because I really want ice cream. And so I put in a little order at the teriyaki place on the Fred Meyer. And I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna have some dinner. Make sense? Honestly, I've been obsessed with ice cream and I could not choose if I wanted mint chocolate chip or cherry because I love putting chocolate chips in cherry ice cream. And that's what I ended up going with, the cherry chocolate chip. And then I picked up the little takeout that I got. And then y'all know that I have to have a red light pot sticker. I mean, y'all might not know, but if you didn't know, now you do. That if I have pot stickers and I'm driving home, I need to have a little snack. And if I'm at a red light, I, I will be going in the bag, grabbing a pot sticker, having a little bite. These were so good. There's nothing like getting a pot sticker from a restaurant. Like you can make your own it's just not the same at least it never is for me which is fine but here is the goods and then I had to do a little zoom in it was diggity dank it was delicious I didn't forget to do a first bite I totally this is totally the first bite I'm taking of this and not and not this is what it looks like really good and then I looked through the vast amount of beads that I had to make a cute little pink pony club bead while I was eating dinner, or I guess in the meantime, I don't know. I wanted a new little keychain for my purse because I haven't been decorating it, so made this pink pony club. I did end up finding an eye, and then I tortured Sebastian. Not tortured. We played. Morning vlog. Happy Sunday. I... Yesterday night, I fell asleep with my makeup on at like 11 p.m. on the couch, mouth open. I barely took my glasses off. So that I can no longer say that I have not. It's fine. I woke up at like five in the morning and washed my face and then crawled back into bed. I flipped the pillow over and then I went back to sleep. My wrist has been hurting and I remember when I had these braces and so helping a little. I Groundhog's Day, the breakfast I had yesterday, but I didn't put chocolate chips in the pancakes because I didn't buy more chocolate chips and I should have, but it's 
fine. Um, I'll save them for my ice cream. But I've done a little bit of chores this morning. I need to do a little bit more and then work at noon. So we'll see. Oh, and then I need to cook later. So maybe I'll bring you with me for that. But I need to do some editing today. Just Sundays are slow. And I like that. I like, or at least like the morning. I try to take the morning slow. So I either sleep in or I try not to do a lot because I just want to be prepared for going back to work because today is my Monday and that's okay. I'm just at work working hard and I get up to do something and someone steals my chair. Good thing I have a standing desk. Rude. Ignoring me now. Hey, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, attitude. It's lunchtime. I have a YouTube video going and I made a sandwich that I really love and haven't had in a while. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. I didn't film a lot yesterday. I didn't film much for this vlog, I don't think, so I'm extending a little bit to today. I'm also eating the leftover teriyaki that I have because I didn't know how to fit it in as a dinner or a lunch because I prepped dinner and lunch for the week. Actually, it's everything's fine. Yes. <laughs> but I'm going to do that. I'm going to watch a YouTube video. I think it's before 1030. I already showered. I'm already dressed. Um, yeah, I have work at noon. Oh, I need to, <clears throat> I need to edit, upload, and post the vlog going out today, Monday. It's fine. It's not going to be up at noon, but that's okay. I need to, I should have done more editing yesterday and I, it's okay. I did other things. I was productive and I rested rested and I worked so then it was time to turn the tv on load up the youtube and see what we got going on for today leftover breakfast was the teriyaki because I didn't know how to fit it in as like a dinner meal and then I realized I didn't need to I can just eat it for breakfast and it was a delicious breakfast maybe interesting to drink with a peppermint mocha but that's fine whatevs and then I finally put together the flowers that I got this weekend we're not going to talk about how I let them sit in the sink for a couple days but they were in water and then I had a little snack during work, and then someone wanted a little bit of cuddle time, so we had some cuddle time. I read a little bit of graphic novel. All right, y'all, it is a lot later Monday night than I wanted it to be. I, well, no, I'm very happy that I just chatted with my roommate after work, and then I had to make the green beans for my dinner, which always takes so much longer than I want it to, because I hate cutting green beans. I love cooking. I once made my mom let me cook Thanksgiving dinner all by myself one year. Like I was in high school and she kept walking in and she was like, what do you need help with? And I was like, I need you to get out of the kitchen. I am doing this by myself. And I cooked like a six or seven course Thanksgiving dinner by myself. Maybe it was for five to six. Whatever. I don't know. Probably five to six courses with the turkey as well delicious um I'm good at cooking but I hate cutting green beans it's my least favorite thing to do but I don't really like frozen green beans and canned green beans are not my favorite either but dinner's done I get to relax I'm so excited I will be going to bed after eating and then we're doing it all again tomorrow but this is where I'll end the vlog thanks for coming with I had fun this weekend let me grab let me show you the dinner I have some trout, some rice, and some green beans and onion. Garlic, of course. But I don't know how to put this down without taking my phone off. So thanks for coming with. See y'all in the next one.